So do you want to get out of your 9 to 5 job but don't know how to? Then this video is for you. Today I'm interviewing one of my first client actually who bought a first property with me and then eventually he went on quitting his job, became a realtor, joined my team and now doing full time and crushing it. So learn his story, why he did it, you know how he did it. So all those things. Stay tuned. Namaskar, welcome back to my channel. This is Aditya Soma. If you're new here, I'm a real estate investor and a realtor here in Windsor, Ontario. In this channel, I talk a lot about how I achieved financial freedom using real estate as a vehicle. And also, you know, I share other people's stories, how, you know, they became financially free and how they, you know, got into sales. Some people, you know, succeeded as a salespeople, some people as an investor. So if those are all the topics that you're interested, make sure you continue watch this video. Let's <laughs> have a discussion, Harsha. Welcome for the uh, you know for the video. First of all, like you know, thank you. Thank you for having me here. Yeah. So for people who those who don't know you, because I know a lot about <laughs> you, but for those who don't know you, because you you never showed up on my videos so far. Uh, so for people wondering, who are you? Hello everyone. My name is Sri Harsha. I'm fortunately Aditya's first client. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> but no. before before jumping on to that, I would like to tell a little bit about myself, my, yeah, my yeah. career, my past. Uh, I moved to Canada from India in 2016. I was working in uh, Mumbai as an aircraft maintenance engineer. And then I moved to Canada, got my permanent residence. When was this? That was in 2016. So not too long ago. Not too so long. Probably like six years back. Six years, six ago. years mm -hmm. back. And then I got my permanent residence. That's how I moved to Canada. So you uh, went to Prince Edward for job or for? Um... That's that. Uh, I got the nomination from the province. Oh, okay. So I... you applied for a PNP, like yeah. provincial. Yeah. Provincial program. nomination under the provincial nomination got it. program. I got into. I entered Canada and mm -hmm. then I moved there. Because and you found a job there? there? I found a job there. So first, like you got a job and then you applied for PNP or you... No, it's the other way around. Okay, so you applied for PNP. I applied for PNP and then I got this job. Okay, got it. During the first uh, 40 days or so. Okay, so you worked? I wor No, I, I was looking for work and then within 40 days I got a job and then mm -hmm. I started my working in the same profession. Okay. And then uh, here in Canada, to get your aircraft maintenance engineer license, you have to work on an airplane. For and, uh, for until you get your license. Okay, got it. So so just the, you know to give someone an idea, like one of the reason because even though you know you you said to me if you remember your plan is to get a license. Yes. In your um, uh, aircraft. Aircraft maintenance and move license. to Toronto move because to that's Toronto. where you said you have more jobs. Yes, more but jobs. But the reason you 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 looked at the properties were such a way that if you move out it will can survive on itself survive own. itself with the rents with the so rent. that's the type of properties we were looking for even your budget were also tight because because of the income scale you're in you yeah, yeah, and yeah. the savings that you had and the savings that i had so if you remind me how much was the price we bought the property for? 212 212 so we put like five percent down five percent down that's right yeah so Almost like ten, twelve thousand. Twelve thousand dollars plus closing cost. Yeah, including closing cost, twelve thousand. Twelve thousand dollars. Yeah. So then after, like now, this is twenty eighteen, uh, and now you're you're in sales. Yeah. And you quit your job. <laughs> so what happened? Why did you get into sales then? So here is the thing. Then uh, I got my AME license in twenty nineteen too. Six months after my I bought my home, yeah. got my license, and then uh, not I the realtor license, the aircraft. The aircraft maintenance engineer yeah, yeah. license. Mm -hmm. And then COVID happened. Yeah. So, what next? <laughs> Career stagnated. Like yeah. I got my license, I got everything, but then no progress, right? No income, like no job Guarantee, opportunities. No, no security, no, no opportunities. opportunities. Mm. I thought about, I, I was exploring two opportunities. One is either an immigration consultant yeah. or real estate agent. Because uh, I helped a couple of my co-workers as immigration consultant. To get their... Uh, uh, Work visa. Uh, work from for their yeah, work yeah. visa mm -hmm. for their permanent residency. So I could do that. I yeah. knew about it, and I counselled some of my friends from India too. They used to call me how to come to Canada and then yeah, yeah, used to yeah. explain them. That is not giving real good income to be precise. Mm. It wasn't giving. So you didn't see the potential. Yeah, the same yeah. the potential. Yeah. But real estate is like something like uh, practically speaking, everybody wants to buy a home. Yeah. Not too many people may want to migrate to Canada, yeah. but everybody would love to buy a home. Yeah. <laughs> so here the potential for client base is, is there. more mm. comparatively. 
so that's why i chose uh, real estate and after 7 months i saw the potential here yeah. and i wasn't doing so no how was your results in this 7 months in 7 months i made seven firm sales seven firm part sales. time not focusing bad. on weekends and evenings yeah focusing on weekends and evenings i i could do seven sales so let me ask you this here is is it easy is is it doable for someone thinking that oh if i should did it can i do it see you have to love the job if you don't put your heart in and if you only look at uh, the paycheck mm. and you see you see he doesn't do anything he just roams around in a show the property show, open the door show open the door <laughs> and he makes so many bucks no there's lot of work to it <laughs> <laughs> you would realize that only once you get in right exactly. i wanted to hear that because you know i heard that so many times like agents make oh, lots of money man you have, first of all you have to talk to 100 people to qualify one book client no even for that one client you have to show them properties you have to assess their requirements first of all understand their requirements they understand yeah and then uh, show them the properties and in the process learn more about them yeah and then uh, when the right even when the right property comes you need to do the comparable analysis yep and if it is an investor you have to do the cash flow analysis, analysis yep and those suck because it's not easy doing a comparable analysis it takes at least 15 20 minutes to do for one for property. one property but again you know to summarize this situation here there is a lot of work you know right like there yes. is a lot of work lot of work and it's not a cookie cutter like it's not like a job You, you will it be. It is an art. Yeah, exactly. Science is not science. It is an art. Exactly. I love that answer. <laughs> That's fantastic. So fantastic. So what happened after? And then, like I said, uh, it was too much work, too much to handle. I Because was job only, and uh, yeah, and I was having only fifteen minutes break at work, in which I had to answer so many phone calls. <laughs> yeah, which was not sufficient. I was doing justice to either of the professions, and I was losing a bigger opportunity in this uh, yeah. real estate industry. So that's when I thought that I have the license. So mm-hmm. and you already seen skills. it's doable. Yeah, yeah. No, in from the aircraft maintenance side, mm-hmm. I have the license. I have oh, the qualifications. Yeah. I have the experience. I have yeah. Everything. So why not give real estate a shot? Full shot. Full shot. Hmm. And then uh, took a leap from one part of. the career world to other part of the yeah uh, from aviation to real estate from sky to ground yeah so <laughs> how long this ago what when was jan 2022 so is that I'm literally on. like less than 8 uh, month 9 uh, months 10 months 10 months it's been 10 months since i have been full time so now after this 10 months right out of this 10 months 6 months were one of the toughest times compared to the last 3 years ago so like mm-hmm. in the market wise so how was your monthly income before and now would you regret for taking that step uh, well i can put simply put it this way in this in fact when i was working part time 7 months i made almost 50% of what i was making full time yep like 12 months of income half of that in 7 months working part time that's when i realized the potential and yep. i felt that it wasn't i'm not doing justice yes yeah so when i moved full time uh, it's almost uh, it's not almost it is in fact twice as much as i made 200% so yeah. pretty much you doubled your income doubled my income, active yeah. income in a, in 10 months Yeah. So there you go. So you still have another two months to another go. Two months to go. It yes. could it could turn into three hundred three times. Three times, yeah. Possibility there. Possibility is there. And and this is still in the first year. In the first year, yes. So this is like still like less than one and a half year, right? Like total. Uh, yeah. Seven months plus ten months. Yeah. So yeah. you're still eight under. Eighteen months. Uh, months. Exactly. So you know that's the thing. If you're someone looking into. you know getting into sales and all those things this is something that's the exactly the reason why i wanted to be in this on this video on this interview because you know a lot of people have been asking me the same questions can i do it can i go part time mm-hmm. do i have to do full time your your situation your story is a very good example for many people because i did it little differently i went in all in mm-hmm. but you did it differently which is you know a great way because you had a family that who is depending on you yeah complete family the, and the risk you took was calculated but also it's still a great risk right because at this point like you still you were a single income at that it, time i wouldn't call it a risk i would call it a calculated move, move than a yeah. calculated risk but also one more thing that helped you if you remember uh, to make this move even more easier you refinance your property yeah the, that gave us a lot of <laughs> some some savings right yeah when i refinanced it i got uh, a almost my annual income as uh, as a cash out as cash out I mean, yeah, yeah like <laughs> cash out 
uh, I can like that's that given that gave me the confidence. Yeah, confidence to, to win the job. Exactly because you know that's what we were discussing. Like you know you have one year savings mm. uh, to to live off, yes. uh, to pay your mortgage, to your expenses, to yes. your kids' expense, right? So when you have those grounds, why not take and give all in? That's when you will see the result, right? Because sales is not something that you will see the results within a day or two or a month or two two. It will take time, and there is a lot of new things you have to learn. Mm. Any final words for people who are, you know, in your shoes, wanting to get into real estate or buy their first home or become a salesperson? Any thing that you haven't touched? Uh, if someone is looking to buy a home or someone is thinking about whether to buy now or later, this can be an elaborate answer for that. You please go ahead. Yeah. If someone is thinking like, what if I buy sometime later? It will become cheaper. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, you can buy cheap, but the interest rate will go high, so you're still paying the same mortgage. Mm. That's yep. one thing. And when you are living in that home, appreciation won't matter. Yeah. Appreci- appreciation of a property would matter only when someone sells. As long as you're living in it, you're not paying the rent. Yeah. You're not fulfilling your landlord's real estate goals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's true. That's for the home buyers. Mm-hmm. If you want to start your career in real estate, I would very well encourage you. And if required, me and our team will be more than happy to help. Yep. And uh, do not hesitate. But if you think it's an easy job, and uh, by the snap of fingers, if you can make hundred thousand dollars, then then you better stay away from <laughs> <Where you are. laughs> yes. this yes. industry because the first and foremost, money can make you do weird things. You have to be. Cautious. cautious and honest yeah and then it, it involves a lot of work yeah. it's not yeah. any, it's not as easy as it looks yeah because you know you you have to compromise your kids time yeah. you have to compromise your personal time especially in the first few years it is a 24 7 job exactly especially in the first few years until you stabilize your business you cannot you know um, say I'm not available mm-hmm. right you you need a solid commitment in the first one two three years so that's right. yeah that's a great advice and uh, thank you thank you for being here and thank you yeah, for yeah. being my first client right <laughs> guys that's pretty much it um if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to hit that thumbs up button and if you still have any questions you know any concerns any challenges that you want to discuss with us let us know in the comments below okay until then check out the other videos and see you in the next video bye bye take care